You know, ministry is not a legacy. Everybody has to do his ministry. You do yours, I do mine. You know, you do yours, I do mine. And when it comes to ministry, you've got to be able to answer God for yourself. My children will answer God for themselves. Jemima, Jesimel, Jael, they answer God for themselves. I teach them, I show them what to do, but ultimately they make the decisions for themselves when it comes to Jesus and, and, and you know what they do with Jesus on earth because the day they will face Jesus, I won't be there. I won't be standing to say I'm their father. They will all face Jesus independently and talk to Jesus for themselves. No father decides for a child. The father can only guide and counsel. And that's why parents must surround their children with, with everything they need to help them make the right choices and decisions in life. But ultimately, they have to make those decisions. If they decide to do ministry, that's their choice. If they decide not to do ministry, I'm not going to force them to do ministry because I'm a minister. I'm going to show them their responsibility as believers to preach the gospel and to get people to come to the knowledge of Christ. But I'm not going to force them and tell them you must be a preacher. No! They've got to make that choice. They've got to make that choice depending on their walk with the Lord and what the Lord is speaking to them. But I'm going to show them all of that as their responsibility. Ultimately, they have to make their choices. So you must be open to the leading of the spirit. We're looking at career. We're looking at ministry. We're looking at relationships. We're looking at marriage. We're looking at major decisions of life that can, get, that can cost us or that can bless us. If you're fulfilling God's will, the Bible says you'll be a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. Yeah. You'll be a city set on a hill. So the reason you are hidden is because God hasn't set you. You can't set yourself. It is God that sets. Let God set you. 